Very well. How do you use Chunky with Distance Horizons? In Minecraft, Distance Horizons can show enormous distances, but by default it needs chunks to have been explored or loaded first. So Chunky is used as an alternative, so when you enter the world, you already have data for unexplored areas at hand, okay? The thing is, if I use Distance Horizons, what the mod will do is start loading and loading chunks. What's the benefit? If I already have them generated, rather than loading or generating chunks, all that computation won't be necessary, right? The mod will simply have to load them instead of generating them, and that's it, okay? So we can use chunky, right? We use chunky type chunky start and begin defining what we want. In the overworld, I want a shape, a square shape with the center at zero, zero, uh, and a radius of 20,000. No, look, don't get fixated on the radius, okay? With a radius of, of, of 2,000 blocks, okay? 2,000 blocks, and that's it. And then you'd simply hit enter, and this radius would start generating. So if we were using distance horizons, once that's processed, our computer won't need to process that part anymore because the chunks have already been generated. It's important to note that, obviously, those chunks will be stored on your computer, okay? Obviously, you'll have stability issues, okay? And the game can crash if you go too far, okay? So use your head. My practical recommendation is to increase the radius in increments, like from 100 to 200 or 100 to 150 to reduce crash risk. And remember, you can play while Chunky loads chunks around you, okay? So there you have it.